welcome back to another quick review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host, Jackie Kay, and today we are surviving Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Before we begin, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to headshot that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. Spoiler warning ahead. Overall, the film felt like a low-budget sci-fi channel offering based on a popular franchise. The humor was terrible, the dialogue was worse, and the costumes were very homemade looking. The casting was generally awful outside of Donnie Amell as Chris Redfield, and the story tried way too hard to cram four games into one short film. It felt like the person who wrote this found a bunch of Resident Evil memes on Reddit, thought that they were funny, then scanned the Wikipedia outline of the story of a few of the games, and just kind of threw some shit together. I don't want to harp on anything, but I literally could not take any of the dialogue seriously. And if it was supposed to be some kind of meta-humor take on how the dialogue wasn't so great in the original games, it ruined the film. Not to mention that the whole film lacked atmosphere, the character personalities were all sorts of switched around, the special effects were mostly subpar, <coughs> sci-fi. I've seen better fan-made films on YouTube. <laughs> this is definitely one for the skip bin, the clearance bucket, the if I can't fall asleep, maybe give it a try. Especially if you're a fan of the video game franchise. And if you're coming off of the Mila Jovovich films, those rate much better than these ones, and sadly, that's about it. I'm giving this film a 4 out of 10. The only saving graces were being some of the gory effects. That the story was at least coherent, if not watered down and boring, and that they nailed Chris Redfield, who by far is one of the easiest characters to make hammy and over the top. The worst characters in this film were Claire, Leon, Wesker, and Jill, who are nothing like their counterparts. Even Chief Brian Irons was also sadly misused. They just made him swear a lot and shout and act like a dick, when he could have been really sinister as a political figure in the story. Again, save your money. Hell, save your time even when this thing hits streaming services. Don't worry, I'm sure there'll be another one in a few years. I want to thank you all for checking out our video. Please make sure to give it a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can reach out to us on Twitter, at StudiosFat, or chat with us on Discord, which is linked below. We also have a Patreon, and that is also linked in the description below. I've been your host, Jackie K, but before I go, I want to talk quickly about making smart decisions. Often in life, we are faced with multiple choices, usually more than two, and there's no clear right path among them. Following your instincts in those matters is making the best choice. And it's better to actually make a choice than to just stand there and have somebody else make the choice for you. Whether the outcome is good or bad, at least you can say that you gave it a try. Thank you for watching the video and take care.